So Atalie, I'm going to bring you in at this point. Um, we, we're talking here about trying to um, build, bring in different partners potentially to help with these situations. Uh, what sort of, of help and support could partners bring to these situations? Thanks, Cathy. Um, can you hear me okay? We're having, yeah, perfectly. We're having a morning of technical issues. I just wonder if I'm also having a bit of a technical blip there. Um, well, it was very interesting actually hearing um, from both Carolina just now on the capacity strengthening, and I think it was Sue yesterday that also mentioned one of the, ch and another colleague who, I'm sorry, I can't remember who it was, mentioning the challenges of for partners of finding the resources for the capacity strengthening. And um, really interesting bringing those two sides together where um, Caroline was mentioning that in South Sudan they've, they've really tried very hard to roll out a number of uh, training initiatives to, to support partners in various elements of uh, supply chain logistics um, uh, areas. But I think it was also interesting to hear from Sue saying that perhaps there's uh, something there that can be done when it looks at building in the resources into the program requirements to make sure that all partners who are involved in the, in the program delivery do have some resources available to do that because it's quite clear if people don't have the resources to do it, it's going to be very difficult for them to move forward. And I think, of course, we try very hard, not just at the country level, as we've heard from, from the colleagues in South Sudan and Syria, but also at a, at a global level to produce things which can multiply the, the capacity of partners, whether it be online information in the logistics operations guide, whether it be um, the trainings that are all available. So I think if we can come at it from both sides, i.e. seeking ways in which to introduce resources into the, the programs of partners, as well as what we can contribute from our side, hopefully that will be a, a winning cocktail. And, the, and we're talking here not necessarily about um, fin just financial resources. We are talking about get, being able to give services, provide services. Well, well, also, I mean, time is one of the most precious resources that everybody has now. And I think we're all aware that of the frustrations that we sometimes have when people would really like to be able to build up the capacity of their teams and yet it's somehow difficult to find time to break away from day-to-day -day operations. So I think it's it's as you say, not just financial resources, but being able to get the breathing space away from day-to-day -day operations to allow um, our colleagues to have a bit of time to attend these kind of uh, uh, opportunities.